What up, what up, Tom T here. Let's shut that off. Let's... I probably should have done that first. Oh, that's okay. Hope everybody's having a good day. That's not what I said. My hands are cold. Hard to type when my hands are cold. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do this. Oh, that's not the way to do that. That was odd. It's when we got flipped sideways. Hopefully it's back to normal now. Hope it's not. Okay, back to normal. For the picture. It's the story of Tom's internet. That's okay though. All right, let me try something else. Oh, that's what I wanted. All right, got it. Got it. Still setting things up here. Setting things up. There's a serial number on that box, isn't there? I wasn't sure that there was. I don't know what that means. Where is that? Huh. Don't rip it. I'm not ripping it. I got three other packs. I'm not going to rip my full box. That's my full box. Serial number, hologram. That's my full box. I'm not ripping my full box. But I do have other packs. Yeah, that Dominguez was pretty, pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. I have busted a couple of packs. Uh, I did bust. Whoop. The phone locked up. Hold on. Give me a second here. 
see what happens when people message me when I'm trying to do stuff. Okay. Yeah, my camera went sideways again here. Bear with me. That's Devon Florio. Here's I opened a couple packs. I had I had I got the box and then the next day I wound up being able to get five packs. So I, my five packs just came today. Got uh, Baron Laura. That's the one Bitg likes. I got a Rushman. Uh, Antonio Cabello. First Bowman. Uh, Gerard Encarnacion. Grant Little. Josh Young. Drew Waters, Reese Hines, Leroy Tavares, Grayson Rodriguez, Pawson, Robert Pawson. That's a pretty good one, I guess. I looked it up. I didn't realize it. Robert Pawson, shortstop for the A's. Uh, Cabrine Haynes, Tanner Houck, Kate. Zach Brown Band, Daz Cameron, my Tigers, Forrest Whitley, Cody Reese, and Davey Garcia. Davey Garcia for the Yankees. Hey, sports kids. What's going on? Favorite Yankees? Well, I'm probably going to wind up trying to flip that uh, that Dominguez. I put it out there on Twitter. Next couple of days, I should have a good idea of comps. Getting ready to mow. It's good. So how's this picture? Is it picture? Is it totally shaky or is it discernible to see what you're looking at or no? No, not as of right now. That might change. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to wait and see what the comps are in the next couple of days. But Yeah, these are pretty nice. As soon as I got it in the mail today, I had to bust a couple packs. Like I said, I'm not, but I'm not going to bust my full box. I'm putting that away. But I was able to get five additional packs from Tops the day after. Nice. My buddy got some packs too. He got a gold uh, catcher for the Dodgers guy. I don't remember who it was. Wasn't worth a whole lot, but it's still pretty cool. Approximate odds. Sky blue parallel one and two. Blue foil one and ten. Yellow foil one and nineteen. Gold foil one and twenty-eight. Orange foil one and fifty-six packs. Red foil one and two hundred seventy-nine. What is red foil? That must be 
don't know what that is. What's that number two? 10? Not sure. Um, how did you get packs? Tops.com. Day one, I got nothing. Day two, I got on earlier than they said they were going to go on. And day two is when I got my box. Confirmed. Day three, I got on earlier again, and I was able to get five packs. Yeah, that's why I just, I was on most of the afternoon waiting. Waiting patiently. I just kept hammering it and hammering it and hammering it until I saw it. No, it was shaky at best, but I got lucky enough to get through and snag some. Plug my phone in here. Okay. Like I said, I've opened two packs and I'm going to card, at least card saver every one of these cards. First editions. Yeah, I just kept checking back. Remember the great sports. Oh, the boxes are going for like seven, yeah, seven fifty to eight hundred now. I know BITG said last night with with the guys that he knows in the hobby around the nation, the word on the street is these are going to be going for 50 bucks a pack in a couple of weeks. He said that he said these are expected to be going for $50 a pack in a couple of weeks, which would put the box at if the, if these go up to $50 a pack and they're already $30 a pack, if they go to $50 a pack in a couple of weeks, the box will be worth 1200. Well, this is first edition. We're talking first edition. These are the ones that were only available through tops.com and they were limited. Oh, and I could go live today. Okay. Hey, Void, did you see what I pulled last night on BITG? See if I can bring it up on the new.
Well, let me put a picture of it on here for you. Deafness, what's up? So Void doesn't know uh, what I pulled on BITG last night. I was going to share a picture on here. Let me see how I do this. Oh, Thirsty Thursday. That's right. Deafness, I almost texted you right before I went on because I was going to – it'd probably be better if I just give you a call here um, Friday or Saturday and talk about Wednesday. I got to see that again. Well, Void wanted to see it. No, uh, actually, it's, I think it's going, when on eBay, is it like 12, 1300 and it still has a day and a half left or two days left? I'm thinking it'll be about two grand at least. I'm hoping. I'm definitely flipping it. But I just popped on here because uh, I'm going to bust uh, another pack. I'm going to bust a pack. I got my box uh, a couple days ago, hemmed and hot about whether or not I wanted to break it open or not. Um, got lucky enough last night in BITG stream to hit that Dominguez. But I got my five individual packs today because I got a box from tops.com on the Thursday, the second day of release on the Friday, I wound up getting five packs. Yeah. yeah not flipping it to me. That's right. So I'm going to bust a pack now because it's burning a hole in my hand. I'm not going to break my box. Uh, but we got three packs left. Break them all. That's okay. No problem. Shut. Yeah, I'll probably rip. I'm going to rip these ones eventually. But, uh, my stream is pretty choppy, huh? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it wasn't my original date. I kind of feel bad for RSRS, but, uh, you know, I, I said Padres are out there. And, uh, ooh, nice. I got a Matt Manning right on the back. I'll take that. <laughs> Deafness. All right. Ethan Hankins. 
I don't know who that is. That's okay. Ethan Hankins. Next card. Nick Madrigal. It's all paper unless you hit one of the inserts. I mean, I guess that's paper too, but it's foil. Nick Madrigal. Alex Kurloff. Kurloff. We got Miguel Vargas, first Bowman. Third baseman for Dodgers. Yeah, I'd be nice to get an auto, but Riley Green, there's my boy. Now, in Defnesses or in uh, BITG's pack, the card after Riley Green was a gold. Uh, well, we got some color down there. The card after Riley Green was my was my gold uh, Dominguez last night in BITG. I wonder if the collation stays the same. That means I'd have a Dominguez paper coming up. You go out and get more content. That's right. So let's see how we do on a card coming up next. Oh, the collation changes. Nick Allen. So we do have some color coming up. Let's see who we get. I didn't get any color out of my first two packs. Let's see if we can get a nice color here. That's a nice one. Pawson. Robert Pawson. That's a, that's a nice uh, sky blue there. Not numbered, but that's a nice card. He's one of the, he's one of the good prospects. Set that aside. Alvaro Sejas. Nick Bennett. A couple back-to-back -back first Bowmans there. And a Matt Manning. I like the Matt Manning. Not a first Bowman, but the Tigers do have a lot of cards in this product. Yeah, but my internet's too horrible to be doing any kind of long-term streaming. So that's pretty nice. Robert Poisson. Poisson. This card. That must be what they consider the sky blue Sky blue, I'm not sure. Fluctuates, all right. Yeah, you saved me the trouble. I was just going to go look. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. And I got some other first Bowmans out of the deal. Again, I'm going to sleeve every one of my first editions up. So let me take the time to do that right now. Time to go mow. Have fun, sports kids. I was going to mow tomorrow, but it's supposed to be hella cold tomorrow. So I have 42 or 43, low and 22 or something. Is it cold down there? Down deafness? Is it cold where you're at? No. Did the cold front beat it to you before it got to me? Yeah, no, I should take these cards up to the top of the hill, dude. I don't understand it. I got 4G full bars down here. When I'm outside with 4G full bars up in the woods, man, it's a clear stream. The note. Yeah. 56? That's not bad. What about tomorrow? 
It's supposed to get damn cold the next two nights here. Two days and nights. Torrential downpours. Riley Green. I know. It's just... That's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, JD, because I know you wanted to set something up on Wednesday, but with the horrible connection I have, I just bothers me. We'll see, I guess. So deafness, how do you think you'd want to set it up like you did before on the Zoom or? Um, my big thing is I'm not huge on pushing con pushing sales. I don't know. We talk about it. Everyone needs a break. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, so I've sleeved up uh, all three packs that I opened. Got to move my tigers to the front. Oh, Jeff Airtime on, or did he just post a video? I think he just posted a video. Two Tigers is all I got. Oh, I got Daz Cameron in the last pack. Yeah. Tigers. Texas. Let me take all the first bones out first. Then I'll put on this. John's hasn't, yeah. That's a Yankees. There's a Yankees in here someplace. They were first moments. That's why they're not in there. It's uh, Cabello, Antonio Cabello, first Bowman. Gerard Encarnacion. There's the Robert Poisson base. Alvaro Sias. Nick Bennett, first Bowman. Baron Laura, that's BITG's guy, I think. He's interesting. He likes Miguel Vargas. Take out my Tigers and put them in my Tiger stack. Air time, what's up? Yeah, they're young guys, that's for sure. Yeah, so that's okay, JD. I'll give you I'll give you a ring on the phone. Maybe tomorrow afternoon or something, we can do some chat and see how you want to set. If that's okay, if not, then just let me know. We'll just text or something.
Yeah, I got it. Um, I'll email it to you. Hold on. I won't post it on here, but I'll email it to you because I don't know if I have Kevin's permission to do that. I mean, he'd probably think it was okay, but I'm not going to assume assume things, you know what I mean? Oh, that's right. You're going out of town. I forgot. Uh, yeah, well, if you want to do something next Wednesday, we need to chat about it. So. I don't necessarily want to hash it out on your, on your channel while you're doing something else. All right, let's see here. Kevin, I'm looking for his address here. Hold on, Jeff. All right, here it is. Now you see, I could swear that you sent me your info. Hold on. Inbox. I don't have it. Jeff, I don't have your email. I don't have your, why don't I have your information on my, uh... no, I don't care. I didn't want to bother you during your stream. I don't care. Jeez, I'm not doing anything important. Jeff, uh, well, hold on. Jeff, are you uh... – Jeff, I'm going to make – I'm going to add a mod. But, Jeff, drop your email. I don't know why I don't have it on my email. I thought for sure that we, uh, Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I thought we had talked to each other on email before, but I couldn't find it's actually right on the screen, but this way you can just click it. Make sure I got that right. I sent you double K's info. And no, I would, if you're on, you're never bothering me if you're on my stream. I'm not doing anything crucial. <laughs> yeah, you usually keep up with the Yankees prospects. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that was apparently a pretty good poll. Sky blue. 
Robert Pawson, Pawson, I know how I'm saying that. I'm horrible at names. Void likes to hear me try to say names. Robert Pawson. Maybe it wasn't Void. Maybe it was somebody else. High Wire Act. I'm never going to live that down. This one actually looks a little off center. No, maybe not. It's weird because the board is. I kind of dig it. This is a real nice design. How the, you know, the the pictures come outside of the borders. Um, just to do a quick little rundown of the card. I like. I really like how on the card that the border doesn't. Ever this design a bunch. When the base 2020 comes out, I'm gonna snag me a couple of couple of jumbo cases of this stuff. Boxes, not cases. It's a nice looking. It's a nice looking card aesthetically. For me, I think anyway. Um, Definitely, when you're heading out of town, you got to work tomorrow. Are you going out tomorrow? I know you got Thirsty Thursdays tonight, so I'll see you on there. But uh, I was thinking of maybe just grabbing a box, blast, you know, something like I got out here, except the Bowman. The Bowman won't be in the mix, but maybe just grab a blaster of this, grab a hanger of that, grab a blaster of this, grab a hanger of that, and just set it out. And then if anybody wants um, – I'm not going to have unlimited product out there. Maybe just a box or something, two or three, four boxes of something. Chat up for a little bit. But my worry is my stream – My uh, internet connection is going to make it, make your stream look like crap, and I don't want to be responsible to do it for doing that to you. Four autos, nice. Should I bust another one? Bust another pack? How many people I got watching? I'm better off doing a video and busting it. So it's clear. Red foil, one in 279 packs. Platinum pattern foil, one in 1,375. First edition autograph, one in 310 packs. So it's not hard to figure out. The gold foils are one in 28. It's not hard to figure out. One in 28 is a gold card. Each person has 50 gold cards, and there's 150 cards in a set. So 28 packs times 50 times 150. 210,000 packs exist. Divide that by 24. There's 8,750 boxes that were made. 8,750 boxes. Or 8,750 boxes. 8,750 boxes existed. That's how many were, were, were made.
Oh, tennis. I was I gotta show you something, Jeff. I remember you talking about that. I'll go boxes and found some uh, I don't even remember where they are now. Uh, huh, what do I do with those? Well, never mind, maybe. I don't know what I did with my non non major sports cards. What did I do with that box? No, oh, I took the lid off it. That's why. All right, there it is. Yeah. Okay, here it is. I was going through a box and I found these. Don't tease me like that. No, nah, these were just in a random box. It's a uh, Overstreet card number one. Spawn. And I found me a nice Ric Flair. Like I said, this was in a sh you know shoe box or something I hadn't gone through in years. I got a Net Pro. Rafael Nadal Pereira. I don't know what that is. I didn't even know I had it. I don't even remember where I got it. Net Pro 2003 Net Pro. I think it came one of those world's greatest card chase boxes or something with pack edition and it added like a tennis pack in it or something. So 2003, Pete Sampras. Pete Sampras. This is a Rafael Nadal. It says his tour record was his, he was junior status when this card came out. So this is like his first card or something. Yeah, that's a fun find. So this is 2003 net pro, but it says that he wasn't a pro. He was he was junior status when this card was made. I don't know much about it. Pete Sampras was a pro already at that time. I had this random Batman hologram that was a net box. Base card rookie. All right. Had the sweet uh, kiss trading card that was in there. Now, this one I'm sure I got when I was a kid. Quote, unquote, kid. Got a... Uh, 81 Donruss, Peter Jacobson. PGA. I this nice uh, 1966 color Batman. Yeah, there was a little bit of everything in the box, that's for sure. 1960, that's a nice card, too. That one's razor sharp. 1966 Batman color. A little weird cut on it, but. And we got our music superstars pro set, Paula Abdul.
This is just a base Pokemon card, I guess. Meowth. Meowth. Say, I'd sure like to get that talking Meowth. Say, I'd sure like to catch that talking Meowth. Pokemon. This isn't a first edition or anything. No, this is uh, 1999. I don't know why that was in the box. But non-sport edition or something, I guess. I don't know. Upper deck stat leaders, Tiger Woods. Got a little 1992 uh, wild card, Ross Perot. 1992 wild card was the name of the card. This one is uh, Japanese something. Yeah, somebody's calling me. Hold on. All right. Maybe Void knows what it is. It says number 082. But I can't read anything else on it. Pocket Monsters card game. 1996 Nintendo Game Freak Pocket Monsters. Magneton, okay. Uh, I don't know. It's all in Japanese, so I can't tell. I assume that's Japanese. Yeah, it's foil. I don't know much about it. Here's one of my red border Star Wars cards. That might be Series 2. Might have been Series 2, 1977. I don't need to know Japanese to know Pokemon cards. Nineteen seventy six Sugar Daddy Sports World. Apparently you had to have like a little viewer and you looked at the card. Nineteen seventy six Sugar Daddy Sports World. So it probably came in the candy bar, Sugar Daddy candy bar that came on a stick. I don't know if you guys remember the Sugar Daddies or not. Evil Knievel, 1976 Sugar Daddy. See wrapper for additional premium offers. I don't know what that's worth. Here's a uh, Charlie's Angels. This might be uh, Donruss, maybe. No, 1977. Must be Tops then, huh? Let's say I still love that kind that, that kind of hair to this day. I'm telling you. That fair hair is where it's at. I mean, there's another uh Star Wars mixed in. That's series one. Star Wars. Story summary number 10 of 11. And we got a 1974 National Publications Riddler. The Riddler. Comes a little cartoony on the back. Nice little action card there. 
You guys remember these uh, chew bops? Little things that came with gum-shaped candy inside of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, both. I collected both. Still do. So Little River Band was that one. And then, uh, like I said, it, 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 instead of inside, there was a, there was a, there was a, there was an album that was made out of gum on the inside of these that you could, uh, eat. And that was like a mini album cover. Kiss Unmasked. Is that one? Yeah, they're called Chew Bops. Miniature album collection, bubblegum record, and then you, it, it, the bubblegum would come inside a mini album that looked like the album that maybe people wanted to collect. Um, here's the uh, here's the pro set promo pack that I got at the 1992 uh, Georgia National Convention, I think. Proset Superstars. This one has uh, MC Hammer. These are the ones I got at the National Convention, I think. So these are promos, probably. I don't know. MC Hammer. And then uh, Jimi Hendrix. And it came in this little... This little uh, protector here it came inside the bag that you got when you went into the national convention. Anyway, I just meant to grab the tennis cards, but uh, I wound up grabbing the whole stack. I hope that's okay. Oh, and I got a few more here. Uh, Tiger Woods, something. Upper deck, maybe. Tiger Woods, card number one. SP authentic preview sample something. I think that was just a regular insert in the cards though. It says sample, but Star Wars. I think that one's newer. These came out of the gum, sugar-free gum wrappers cards from 2017. That one's numbered. 51 of 75, maybe. Here, an autograph card I got. No, Wilcox. Got that autographed in 85. I got a John Olerud autograph. Rookie. Autographed on May 11th of 1990. And I still have the ticket stub. I put the ticket stub in there that the game that I was at that I got the card autographed at Blue Jays at Tigers. I like the next one. This was uh, uh, 
uh, December 29th, 1990, I went to the Pistons Rockets game. Houston Rockets and the Pistons, and I got uh, Akeem Lajuan's autograph. I think it's rare because he wound up changing the way he did his name to Hakeem, and uh, he didn't sign it as Akeem anymore. This one he only signed as Akeem and nothing else. So I've got the ticket stub. And I remember getting his autograph. Man, that dude was tall, tall, tall. Big dude. Nobody else was around. Walked right up to him on the court before the game, warm-ups. But, like I said, he just signed it Akeem and nothing else. And he he stopped signing as Akeem maybe the next year. Changed it to Hakeem or something. I got my Marvel holograms set. These are Marvel Comics cards. I don't remember what year they're from. Probably close to 1990. 1990 hologram set. This one's got uh, Marvel Comics superheroes. 1990? Okay. Magneto. I like these cards. That's why I, I bought these. I got these in packs back in 1990, probably 91, something. 90, okay. Silver Surfer, Wolverine, and the Spider Man, the Green Goblin. Pretty cool cards. I wound up getting a Punisher card out of something, too. I don't know what that was out of. I got some more 66 color Batmans. Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin on the Bat Cycle. Cesar Romero, Joker action. Burgess Meredith, Penguin action. 1966. Tops Chewing Gum Batman cards. There's uh, Riddler. Frank Gorshin, Cesar Romero, Burgess Meredith. There's the Batman and Robin in the Bat Cave. There's the Joker. Up to jokiness, goodness, no goodness. Bruce Wayne, Joker and Penguin. And we get the Penguin again. And we get the bad guys again, different card, different pose. A little Catwoman action there. Yeah, 1966 tops. I would think. I think they're 66. Oops. Tops chewing gum. Yeah, 1966. Batman color. Little trivia questions on the back or something. There's a Curtis Strange uh, authentic threads. Because there's no rhyme or reason to what 
order these things were in this box. So. Nineteen. I don't know what year this is. Curtis Strange, Authentic Threads. Congratulations. Payne Stewart, numbered uh, 250. Out of something. I don't remember what this was out of. Probably the same stuff that the Tiger Woods card came out of. I got a bunch of them. I don't know. I think I bought a case back when they came out. Yeah, I must, I must have bought a case of those when they came out. Because I found some more Tiger Woods's. So I must have, I must have bought a case and busted them when they came out. I'm guessing. Yeah, see you, Jeff. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Tiger rookies. Yeah. Yeah, I had a few. I opened the cards, I put them in a box, and then I forget about them. Yeah, thanks, Nick. That was fun. So I busted a pack a little while ago, if you want to go back and look. And I got this uh, Robert Puasin sky blue foil. Apparently, he's a good prospect, too. That's what I'm told. I'm definitely not going to break my box open, though, I don't think. Because my five individual packs came in today, so I don't need to break my box now. Plus, I got the Dominguez yesterday, so I kind of... Curbed my appetite when I got the Dominguez, but it didn't curb my appetite for busting packs. So I still like busting packs. That's fun. Yeah, that was fun. I'm likely going to probably try to move that Dominguez. I've already said something about it on Twitter, kind of going around, so we'll see. Oh, did I wind up sharing the... I didn't mean to do that. I'll take it off. Yeah, I try to have good willpower. I'll be less accessible. I go back to work next week, so I probably won't be on as much in the mid-afternoon. But... I'm just going to try to be around. Yeah, I figured out you. I said something to my buddy about it. That's a he said that he said the Griffey is clean, clean and sharp. I told him it might be better to see you, Unc. Maybe it's better to bust that thing open and send that thing into PSA. I don't know. I mean, I, don't, I have I searched and searched the internet trying to find one of those things, and I couldn't. I can't imagine there's too many of them out there in sealed bags like that. 
I told him I'd check around and see if there's a market for it in a sealed bag like that. You know, he said he might rather pull it out and rip the bag open, take the Griffey out, send it in PSA. But I said, well, if I mean, if you can get 500 bucks for the sealed bag, why do you need to bother? Or if, yeah, I never thought about that. Can you, can you, can you grade, can you grade the repack? I don't know. I the price tag on it still. That was pretty cool. What time is it? No, it's only five. Okay. What time deafness is this going on? I was thinking about grilling some hamburgers, but it's way too windy out, I think, to grill. I might wind up having to do them on the cast iron pan on a stove. Uh, I think I'm going to save these, save these two packs for another day. Maybe I'll open one tomorrow and open one uh, this weekend. These are the only two packs I got left, and I'm not break, and I'm not breaking into my full box. I'm putting it away. Salmon sounds good. Feel like salmon tonight. Drink of water. Yeah, that's why I was happy that I got the five bone eye pack. When I got the bonus packs, I said, I'm going to, that will give me the willpower to not bust the box since I had a few extra packs to um, fill the craving to bust some. And like I said, hitting the Dominguez kind of helped. Oh, nice. Who's the A's guy? You guys remember? I know one of the guys that goes into deafnesses or BITGs is the A's, A's collector. I can't remember who it is. Oh, okay. Which boxes? These boxes? This box, you know what I'm planning on doing. I'm putting it away. Uh, Deafness got a hold of me and was talking about doing a joint stream on Wednesday. We could sit and chat and bust some cards for some people who are interested. Um, so I'm just kind of getting some things together. I don't know if anybody would be interested in buying, having us, having me and deafness rip them live like personals. But I'd probably only pull out a few boxes. I've got, I got like 20 of these series two blasters, but I'm going to hang on to most of those. I got a couple of the heritage hangers. I've got a bunch of the Donruss, uh, basketball. I might pull a couple of those out. I've got hangers of the. I've got the hangers of these and these too. But Deafness and I got to sit and talk about it. I don't want the quality of my stream capabilities, internet capabilities, to mess up Deafness's stream. So we'll have to talk about it. So, I think that's the plan. I got to talk to I got to talk to JD and see what he's got in mind. I might pull out a couple of vintage packs to maybe an '85 cello, maybe a couple of '81 Donruss, 
baseball. Now I got to see what uh, what I got. I'm not going to bust open new boxes to do any of it. I just have to go off of what I already have partial boxes of. Maybe some 86 rack packs. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to take off, guys. I got to go figure out what to do for dinner as well. Oh, well, Austin's here. Well, now I can't take off. He's late, but he's here right when I said I was getting ready to leave. No, you're all right. Well, I busted. I busted. Uh, I'm not going to break my box, Austin. My box is going to stay sealed, but I did get my five packs because I, I, when I ordered the box, it was the Thursday of release day, and I did get the full box. The Friday of the release day, I wound up getting five packs. I did bust three of the packs, but uh, alas, no Adele in any of the first three packs. Oh, new car key. I didn't get an Adele, but I did pull, pull a uh, Robert Powasson Blue Sky foil. Austin's a guy who knows these guys, too. I got a uh, Davey Garcia. Uh, Cabello. First Bowman. Through these again. Encarnacion. First Bowman. I got a Powassan uh, base. Alvaro Saiges. First Bowman. Nick Bennett. First Bowman. Bayron Laura. First Bowman, I think that's the guy BATG likes. Miguel Vargas, first Bowman. And then I got all the other ones that aren't first Bowmans. Manning, Green, Cameron, Madrigal, Kurov, Reese, Whitley, Brown, Kate, Hauk, Hayes, Gilbert, Grayson, Rodriguez, Tavares, Hines, Waters, Josh Young. Grant Little and Adley Rushman. What are your opinions on Adley? So I did get a few first Bowmans, but, uh, Oh, Tavares is? All right. So probably what I'm going to do is get on tomorrow sometime and bust one pack, and then I might save the other one for the weekend or something. Yeah, I haven't gotten a Bobby Witt. I've only got two packs left that I'm actually going to break, but I've got no complaints after pulling that Dominguez last night. So... Show that one more time.
So, Austin, what are your opinions on Dominguez? Overhype or what? I'd like to know Austin's opinions on Dominguez, too. Well, I've already put on I've already put on Twitter that I'm looking to move this card probably. I don't think it makes sense to hang on to it. I mean, we all know we all know the odds of guys making it. I mean, Void and I were just talking about that last week. You know, I got Brian I got a stack of Brian Taylor gold cards from 1992. He was supposed to be unstoppable. Same thing could happen to Dominguez, and then the card's worthless. I'm better off getting what I can out of it right now while it's hot. Yeah, I mean, if I can flip this thing for two grand. And I think I have to. Yeah, exactly, boy. Yeah, I've been around long enough to know. You know, it's gonna get, it, it would kind of suck if he winds up being Mike Trout, you know, a Mike Trout ish kind of player ten years from now, because then this card will be worth you know. 10, 15 grand, but more than likely it won't be. Odds are not in his favor. I wish, I hope he does work out, but uh, That's why I just need to I just need to flip it before I talk myself out of it, hang on to it, and then it goes down in value to nothing. So anyways. Oh, yeah. Thanks. That was a, uh, you know, I feel kind of bad, but it is what it is. I mean, RSRS is the one who drew the Yankees in the random, but uh, I know Forks was trying to get the Padres from me, and I said the only way I'd trade the Padres is if I could get the Yankees. You know, kind of wink, wink. LOL. And then RSRS and said, uh, came out and said, you want the Yankees? What do you got? And I said, the Padres. And he said, he'd trade the Yankees for the Padres. And I said, okay, I'll trade the Yankees for the Padres. Absolutely. I mean, you're still taking a chance. I mean, a one on one Tatis auto could have been pulled out of one of the other products or something. Who knows? So, hey, Smash, what's up? Nothing. Just hanging out. Didn't get anything super great out of my packs. I did pull a uh, Poisson Sky Blue out of one of my packs. So I'm not busting my box. I'm putting my box away. These are extra packs. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is, Austin. I mean, that's kind of how I felt last night when I was trying to go to sleep. I felt like, you know, I hit four of a kind at the poker table or something, you know. I tried to come down a little bit. Eating dinner, trying to find the end of the internet. I was just going to make dinner myself, so.
Yeah, but this 2020 first Bowman sparked my interest. That's the only reason I got in that break last night with the intention of getting the Yankees. I didn't care about the blasters and stuff that were being ripped from last year. I, the five packs of 2020 Bowman are what my head, what got me into that break. I had my eye on. All right, boy. See you, buddy. I'm taking off too, guys. I got to go make some dinner din. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Smash, thanks for popping in. Sorry I couldn't stay down longer with you. I've been on for a little while here, and I know uh, Deafness is going thirsty Thursdays tonight. I want to go grab some dinner before he gets on. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it, Austin. Smash, see ya. Take it easy, man. We'll see you on uh, probably Deafness is tonight, Thirsty Thursdays. No, that's all right, man. It's cool. We'll check you guys out over there. See ya.